Thank you for tuning in with us today. My name is Jen, this is Adam. We're gonna lead you through a really quick um, full body mobility sequence. This shouldn't take any longer than 10 minutes and it's really just geared to incorporate movement into your day. So feel free to use it as a warm up or a cool down um, in between your work or your study breaks um, or during a recovery day, okay? Um, so, you can see we're wearing a mask. I am smiling under here. I'm so happy to be with you today. Um, we're going to take our feet shoulder width apart. Okay, we're going to start with just some shoulder rolls. Starting with small rolls backwards. Try and take it through a full circle. Making those rolls bigger and bigger every time you go around. Take a deep breath in. Let's go the other way again, starting with small circles. Making those bigger and bigger as you go. Trying to increase your range of motion. Good. We're going to start with just some small little squats to get our hips and lower body warmed up. Start keeping your chest high. Hips go back. And every time, try and increase your range of motion so you're going a little bit deeper. You can add some arms, bringing them just up to shoulder height or below. We're just trying to get a little warmed up here. And loosen up those hips. Good, a few more. So you choose your level for everything today. If something doesn't feel good, please modify. Next time, as you squat down, I want you to transfer your weight onto your left side, extend your right hip. Squat down, extend. Squeezing your glutes as you extend, keeping your core nice and tight so you're not overarching your back. Let's do one more on each side. Good. Now this time, as you squat, I want you to bring that knee up for a little hug. Again, each time, try to increase your range of motion. If this doesn't feel good, grab under your thigh. That's totally okay too. Good. Practicing our balance as we go. One more on each side. You got it. Good. This time, bringing your feet a little bit more narrow, we're going to take lateral lunges out to the side with a hip circle. So starting to your right, take a nice wide stance, lunge down, pushing those hips back. Okay? Now that we've got the lunge, we're going to add the hip circle. As you stand, nice and wide out to the back, and forward. Good, to your left. Lunge, hip around, and forward. Good. You can see Adam has a nice side profile there, making sure that his knees are not passing over the plane of his toes. Keeping the chest lifted, around, and forward. One more time on each side. Good. Last time. Awesome. Back and forward. Now standing tall, we're going to get you to take your right foot out in front of you. And we're just going to sweep down towards the floor. Getting a bit of a stretch in the back of our hamstrings. Good. Taking your hands to the front of your hips. 
We're gonna hinge from the hips, slowly bending forward. Take it about halfway, and then I want you to think about curling your spine. One vertebrae at a time, going all the way up tall. And again, exhale down. Inhale as you rise. Good, one more time down. This time we're gonna continue past parallel. Letting your body drape down towards the floor. Do a forward fold. Let those shoulders relax. Head relax down to the floor. Releasing all your tension. Give yourself a big breath in. And an exhale. Lifting up just into a half fold. Extend your neck and head. Out tall, lengthen that spine, and exhale, down towards the floor again. Taking your hands to the front of your mat, fingers pointing forward, stepping your feet back into a tall plank position. Pushing your hips up into downward dog, and gently pushing each heel individually down into the mat. Reaching your hands further away from you. 
lengthening your torso, feeling a nice release through the hips, low back, and shoulders. Deep breath in. And inhale. Feel free to hold that pose as long as you like. That's it for Adam and I today. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.